iostudy.net. Hello, everyone. My name is Danielle, and today I'm going to go over the conditional sentence type one with you. So today, here we have the conditional sentence type one in the middle. We have three things to talk about. Usage, form, and inversion. Let's first talk about usage. So let's expand the mind map. We can use the conditional in actions in the present or the future tense. So let's expand and see some examples. So here is an example. First one, if it rains, you will get wet. So if it rains in the present, you will get wet in the future. This is talking about what will happen as a consequence of something else. Okay, next example. If she comes, I will go with her. So if she comes, I will go with her. Same as the last one. We're talking about something in the present that's happening, and as a result, this will happen in the future. Okay. Now, we can talk about the conditional while we give warnings. So let's expand this. First example of giving a warning. If you touch this bell, it will ring. So this is a warning telling you what will happen if you touch the bell. Next, if you drop those glasses, they will break. Again, another warning. So there you go. Those are some examples of sentences and how to use the conditional. Now let's talk about the form. So the form is here. We say if plus subject plus verb s or es plus object, comma, subject will verb object. Okay. So first example of the sentence here. If I find her address, I will send her some more books. So as we can see, this does follow the same form as it is here. If plus subject plus verb, s or es plus object, she plus will plus verb plus object. Okay, next example of the sentence. So, if John has the money, he will buy a new watch. So we have the same form there. Both of these sentences follow the same form. So now let's move on to using it in inversion. Expand. Here is the inversion form. Should plus Subject plus verb plus object, comma. Subject plus will plus object. Okay, let's see some examples. So first example. Should he come, we will go to the zoo. And next example. Should he have free time? He'll cut off the grass in the garden. Okay, so we are using the conditional in an inversion way. So let's zoom out. Here you have again your conditional mind map that you can come back to to refer to. Let's move to the outline. So conditional sentence type one. Here you can scroll through this and see some additional explanations and examples of sentences. You can read through this before you take the test. So in the next video, we're going to take the test together and explain the answers. In this video, again, we talked about the conditional sentence type one. We saw the mind map 
and you will now read the outline. So thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video for the test.